Hello! Here we are, we got another testing game. ENS vs. OSP. And... 3K, 4v4 on Yukon. Team 1, Internet Explorer, Xenophon of Athens, Subtle Hubris, and Hunter. They're on OSP. Team 2, Corbo, Dramus, Captain Chaos, and Varen. They're ANS. Like, yeah, as usual, the fighting on Yukon is going to center around the Charlie Alpha Echo area. Drop down here with OSP. Let's go through that. Sully Uvers has. Wow. Okay, that's four 250 bulkers. Completely empty. Two pinpoint shuttles. Okay. Xenophon of Athens has a torpedo bulker. And a little police shuttle. So we'll look for gathering points. Internet Explorer has a 450. Solo with some anti-hybrids and some anti-jam tools. Escorted by two mesh driver monitors. And then he's got one little cap shuttle and locker shuttle. The enemy is Hunter has two mesh driver bulkers. Line tug, EWR tug, LRT tug, and a pair of rocket shuttles. Quite the team out of the OSP, quite the team. Gas has the Hagrid. Beams, stone walls, bullseye, a couple defenders, plus two defender PD escorts with some AMs on them, I believe. Right? No, ceremonial armor missiles. And uh, locking radars. Corbo. Two support reins with Sarissa's 250s, bullseyes. And ah. Uh, some gun and torpedo sprinters. Nice, very nice, very cool. We've got Dramus. With one fighting bar. A couple of jam sprinters. The enemy is securing and then he also has two gun and torpedo sprinters. The enemy is securing zone Three gun and torpedo sprinters. Ren has an Axford, which is already getting mass drivered. Missiles on the backpack. So the hybrids. Photon crown. It's <laughs> pretty good. The enemy secured zone dagger. A flood and gun frig. And then a jam sprinter. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Haven't been at the casting thing for uh, five or six days now, so this might be a little rough. Shuttle scuttle coming in here. Chaff out the wazoo, but I don't think the it'll be enough. Bonk. Yeah, they hit the black cat. Did good damage to it. Didn't kill it, but knocked it out temporarily. One of those 120s to finish it up, maybe. Of course, uh, Sprinter is eating a lot of 250 fire out of those bulkers and mass driver fire and 450 fire. Oh, a couple of those photon crowns. HEI, no HEKP. But doing damn good damage against the, uh, the mass drivers here. Look at that. And with all the damage experienced back here, this might have actually been structure broken. Already? No way. I don't know, maybe with all those empty lands? Hmm. The enemy is securing zone. 
Cat's about to get down by uh, RPF. Monk. No, they're still probably going to get the Alpha Cap anyways. With the Onionis in kind of a tricky situation. Ren's doing the Delta Bravo dance, though he's not really able to get anywhere with the Mass Drivers on Overwatch. seen much missling happening yet. Like gunfire and long range stuff. Trying to get an angle on the Axford, he's not going to be able to go. And so that's Alpha cleared, but it is in OSP's hands, and they have pretty good. A shape on it to keep it that way with the quad 250 bulkers over here and the 450 and the mass drivers all over watching that point so and this is gonna have to make a play on the edges of the map and i don't think they're in too good of a position for that i think they might be able to get up on charlie and the torpedo sprinters could nuke these 250 bulkers since they're empty and they no bd of any sort Very strategic match this is shaping up to be. Looks like Chaos is heading for Alpha, maybe? Nah, no, okay, I see he's, he's dipping around under the rock here. Semi heading for Alpha. Eating a lot of Master Driver Fire. It's not doing too bad, though. A lot of it's... A lot of it's pinging. Which is weird. I'd like to know what version of the battleship he's rolling. Since there's three available right now. Wow. Yeah, there goes one gun. Or, uh, I guess it's not a gun, it's a defender. It does technically shoot things, to be fair. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to... He's trying to kind of get an angle on Alpha, but... Uh, pretty brutal traversal. Could be worse. Would be worse. The reduced armor. Whoa, what's going on over here? Friends getting hit by rocket shuttles. Both of his ships taking some hits. Not too bad. They're still alive. And the Axford's coming up to provide PD coverage. Flak's gonna be yeah, a little slow on that, though. Rockets move very fast. Doing a pretty good job. Asma, you got a lot of mic noise. Oh, he, he left. Another heavy three coming out here for Hunter's ships. I 
got a lot of mic noise. Working on it. Okay. Had a power supply failure, sorry. Ah. So that's where you went. Texas heat, brownout, bad power supply to begin with, bad day. Yeah. Is this not gonna sniff? Oh, I bet it's wake validated. To, yeah, it's active wake validated, and Hunter hasn't been using his main engines. Which means the Yanksford's now in a gun duel with an Acello and a pair of monitors. And if the uh, other ships can get oriented, it's also going to be in a gun duel with a whole bunch of ash drivers. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing, too. that Chaos is still just hanging out here under the rock crevice Corvo's starting to loop around gonna try to get an angle on these uh, Tipiti Bulkers so Vren's in this like big fight by himself while everybody's tr kind of trying to get shape unfortunate get on Alpha though and cap it with Vrin's little distraction on the Delta Bravo side of the map. Jam Sprinter able to easily hide under its own jamming. If they can cap Alpha then Chaos's position of Trap Spider right down here will actually be very effective. Uh, without the Alpha cap it's of course uh, not very useful. <laughs> cap on this is forcing these 250 bulkers to start moving forward towards alpha and if they do that if they get towards the point that osp is uh, running low on capping ships i think the jamming just faded now the angling's bad the osp has to move down here with the bulkers to cap this point they're just going to die to this hole one There it goes, whoosh, disappears right off the sensors. It's a shame he's having some angling issues. I guess the damage wasn't that bad. A lot of that was 250 AP. Punch through real low damage. Grenade Kite getting up here on top of the OSP's back line, but. Not really going to be able to do any much. Yeah, especially now that its missile launcher is down. Should have uh, taken a look, seeing what's what. Looks like Corbeau's getting ready to make a play for Charlie. Yeah, he's doing it now. This is Dramus, actually. So many sprinters in this match. Really cool to see. I'm glad we've gotten away from the uh, Usal Capitals. Bonk. Oh my. Just kills the dandy stow. Yep, basic CSE. Just like that, one torpedo.
And Bravo's pretty much safe. Ren's just over here applying pressure to force OSP to fight. And with ANS grabbing Alpha and soon Charlie, that's turns into a very different game. Very different game for the protector of forces. They're gonna have to get aggressive and get in there. I'll definitely be able to recap Charlie without too much effort. But assuming Corbo also lays an ambush and doesn't just fly up here and try to fight immediately. Which is exactly what he's gonna do. He's flying up here and trying to fight immediately. Um, so never mind everything I was about to just say. I was gonna say if he lays an ambush, he, he'll be able to get whatever ship comes and tries to cap the point. But if he just comes out here, he's probably gonna get blown up by the 250s. Enemy secured zone coming. He's throwing on the brakes. And now the entire ANS wing Echo Alpha Charlie side is pushing all at the same time. That's exactly what they need to be doing. This 250 Bulkers are going to be able to get some good damage down on the Sprinters. But the Sprinters will be able to finish things up. Or maybe not. They've run into a Torpedo Bulker. Which is... I kind of forgot existed. Because it's just been sitting back here the whole game, ready to kill something. And unfortunately, the thing that it's... It has dumped so many torpedoes on this one single sprinter that was dead before the first one even hit it. Colossal waste of munitions. In any case, uh... Torpedoes coming in into the missile bulker. Oh, one gets cleaned up. Clonk. Second one doesn't, though. Uh, it does, however, not deal any damage. There's a few more good hits in. Still in pretty good functionality. And gonna be able to, yeah, kill sprinters with its... Oh my. Large volume of expensive, I think, command torpedoes based on how they were tracking and the fact that it's got a pinpoint on it. Uh, that's very much what, not what you want to be doing with that. It's what he has to do with it, though. Absolutely forced into doing... Yeah, these are commands. And forced into doing this by the sprinter backline attack. Let's see how many missiles you got in this thing, Chief. Wow, oh, still got 76. Nice. Go off the cheapo route. The enemy is securing zone Which is pretty effective against sprinters. As it probably should be. Unfortunately, it has retreated. Yeah, there it is. Directly into the path of a beam, Solomon. Which means... Down goes the missile ship. All of its torpedo tubes, except for two, get it taken out. It's one of its bird things. Both of its engines get taken out. This thing is uh, pretty much instantly dead. By that retreat. Really good one two punch there. Out of Corpo and Chaos. Hunter managed to get around and cap Delta while we were watching all that, but Vren's gonna recap it for the. And his team. Alpha's also been capped by OSP from. Uh. Quid. Bitch Bill? Uh. Uh. should be able to clean that up and then recap the point with. Yeah, Dramus already has the Citrine headed over there. And as we're looking kind of at the kills and the losses. ANS has lost a lot of their capping power and a lot of their sprinters. But uh, MSP has lost a decent amount of their raw combat capability. Well, maybe not. One torpedo bulker. One 250 bulker. And they're, they're about to lose the rest of their torpedo, uh, the 250 bulkers. At least I think so. Maybe not. Yeah, Corvo hadn't really been able to pull off the uh, torpedo attacks I thought he was going to be able to. This Chaos is going to have to come up here and clean it up. He's getting Mass Driver to... back into the corner. Hunter's going to be able to get the Echo Cap with his one single sprinter. The enemy Shuttle letter. 
And that's very good as well. Ooh, one bulker just moved up and it's grabbing Charlie. Enos in big, big trouble. was afraid of getting so much damage. The enemy secured zone atlas. Radio Guppy. It's a good name. And this is recapped Alpha, the but they're staying behind on capping points. At least they will be as soon as Echo is capped. OSP is up. Uh, was that about 60 points? And they don't really have the option to grab Charlie or Bravo. And Echo's kind of far outside their ability. I think ANS has been slowly whittled down to the point where they're just going to eventually die. A couple missiles going into the nose of this bulker. Ooh, couple going to the command stack. That's nice. Gonna knock that thing out. Bonk. Whoa, HEKP. Nice. A little overkill. But uh, hey, we'll kill like overkill. That thing is now dead. It means most of the 250 liner team is uh, dead or as their combat cap capability is significantly reduced. And it's also eating fire. Not too much, but enough. Chaos completely unable to do anything in his main battleship. his nose out here and I think oh that's extremely far away never mind he's gonna be able to finish off the girls without skin bulker okay okay so uh, that is a name to be sure oh man I'm just waiting for it here it comes you can see the beams blinking he knows, he sees that he's trying to dip behind cover, but fire, chaos for the love of God, fire. Yeah, he's, he's got his shit on hold fire. He forgot to take it off. There he goes. Mzz. Yeah, that thing's insides are no longer on its inside. And that's a dead bulker. Chaos has exposed himself for this, and he's now going to have to fight. He needs to get up on Charlie and cap it. And it's currently 100 points down, 102 points down. Or is that 98 points down? Uh, I don't know why. I haven't been able to do math today at all. I was doing a bunch of fleet building earlier, and I was looking at the numbers, like fire times and stuff. And I just couldn't. My brain was like, no. We're not counting today. If it's more than 10, I, I'm not doing it. So. Apologies for any disruptions that may have caused. Yeah, the Solomon not really caring about the mass drivers. Honestly, I feel like Chaos probably could have done, been a lot more aggressive with this. It's just, it's just not taking damage. Straight up. 
because it's, its armor just prevents damage from happening. Which is really strong and definitely OP. That's a whole other can of worms. It's steadily getting down by the 450 fire, though. I think the mass drivers might be slightly eating away at the, uh, at the armor. Unclear. In any case, why is my game running my gas? There we go. In any case, uh, yeah, this doesn't really have any camping presence at this point. The Citrine's headed over to Bravo, which is covered in mines. And yeah, I don't think this has enough gas to deal with these mines. Uh, maybe it will. Defenders are pretty good, but they can be unreliable sometimes. The Dargan Link. Uh, gets Echo. Chaos. Maybe they can come back. If, if the Sentry... It's going to come down to whether or not the Citrine can capture Bravo. And if... Oh, well, we're going to find out right now. Okay, yeah, it's dead. It's not dead! It's got one restore and a drive remaining. So it can get the CIC back in functioning order and cap the point. Incredible. It's gonna take a little while. Might be too late by then. Subtle hubris. Yeah, his other 250 bulgar getting plunked. Dips out of the game. That means Jameis could move on to Charlie. Corbeau will head on to Charlie. They, they need that point as well. Because uh, OSP is out of front line. OSP is out of front line. They got mass drivers. They got a backline support of Cello, And they got more mass drivers. And then they got two scouting shuttles. Oh, one of which is in a duel of the fates on Echo against a vessel that doesn't have any offensive capability. I imagine this thing is out of missiles. No, it's still got... Yeah, it's got, okay. It's got one rocket for arming purposes. So yeah, uh, these two can sit there and uh, scream at each other. Send, send each other nasty emails. Via, via space wind link. It's not moving yet. Don't repair the DC locker. Well, yeah, I guess you do need it to not burn down, but I don't think it will burn down. I can't beat the R. You need to get that reinforced CSC back up and running. Let's go. Fuck everything else. That's all that matters. Hunter's heading up to Delta. And Vran doesn't have much of an answer for it. Yeah, not really. Unless his hybrids will do it. Where are these headed, Chief? No, these are going after the uh, mass driver bulkers. Problem is, I think the Acello might be able to cover them. Maybe not. That's a lot. I think the STZ Marantiel is, uh, is about to die. Oh, good, and its ass is facing towards the hybrids. Which means it's definitely going to die. I feel like Vrain could get a little more out of having more missiles and fewer missiles with decoys and then mix soloing that shit. Cause I actually just didn't do that much damage. Oh, bulk liner.
it was a frigate. Which means Hunter's gonna be able to keep Delta. Citrine still hasn't moved on to Bravo. I don't think... Okay, yeah. Dramus doesn't know. The enemy is securing zone he saw this thing eat a bunch of mines and he wrote it off. It's dead. He, he doesn't know that he can just remake his CIC and get back in there. Propose got none to Charlie. Dragon lean and the jumpy deal. Picking it out on Echo. Still staring at each other, still staring menacingly. Yeah, Hunter and Internet Explorer kind of got to come to the front lines and start holding caps. It's unfortunate that uh, Kid Muscle Light and the Chokadoni didn't just say, eh. Fine, we'll go with Cap Delta. Instead of fighting this mass of mass drivers. But oh well. It's funny, actually, as much as I talk about uh, other folks needing to be more strategically mindful of the game, if I'm not playing missiles, I actually tunnel vision so hard. <laughs> Something I've noticed in some of the matches I've been playing recently. Focusing really hard on the micro, and it's, it's too difficult to keep up with moving your ships around and looking at the broader game. Unless you have a fleet designed specifically for that, such as missiles. Has something changed? Mass drivers had to have been nerfed. They're doing so little damage to this voxel. So like not penetrating. That's what's weird. And that's I've never seen that. Even on a voxel nose on. Punching through the reins and the flank either. Yeah, I think they're I think their penetration got reduced. There was an update today. Voxels can just bounce mass driver's nose on. Internet Explorer is slowly getting cut apart by these beams. And now Theo is in range is in big trouble. Hagrid continues to just be immune to damage since there's no plasma on the field. Ooh. With the beam struggle. The enemy is securing zone dagger.
Look at it go. Just, yeah, just kind of ignoring being shot. ANS is able to get caps now with the smaller ships. And then the big invincible ship can just push. Apply forehead directly to the front. No brain required. No way, is the ANS going to win this after all that? All my talking about the OSP having the cap game? Bzz, there's more beams. We are contesting zone common. And Thile gets sapped. The enemy is secure. Got battle shorting just a little bit, just enough to finish the ship off. Actually, perfect battle short. Very nice. We are contesting zone atlas. Yeah, Anus is going to win. OSP doesn't have any caps, or they're about to, right? The enemy is now. Oh, they're getting alpha back, though. Oh, man, this is going to be close. I think the ANS has it, though. Yeah, they do. Just as soon as they pass that last little bit. GG! The enemy secured zone atlas. Very good. Great game. Fantastic game. Weird game. They know what the armor is on this, uh, on this there, BB. I think it's the 60 armor version. Beams. Beamulus. Okay, got a bunch of errors. Yay! Yeah. Hey, uh, what armor does your battleship have? Wanna guess? Uh, Ooh, I'm guessing check? 60. Okay, it's, mm. it's 58. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Those hybrids did not do as much damage as I hoped they would. Actually, wait. How did the hybrid feel, Hunter? Huh? How did the, how did the hybrid feel, Hunter? Not really that bad, to be honest. Fuck. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah. It's, uh, the first salvo did way more damage to me than the second salvo did, and the first salvo only break two components and gave me a bunch of fires to deal with, but it was so suppressive but not one shot KO. Ugh, uh, fair. You fair, need fair. uh you need more missiles and fewer decoys and then you use mixed salvos. Yeah, you're using a lot of penates for something that, like, I don't even have any PD, and this is why. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, I'm gonna use a mix, probably, yeah, I'm gonna refit definitely to make a mix salvo. Probably like three out of, three out of seven that have, like, an actual decoy, right. so yeah, that makes I more was, sense. I was busy in micro hell. What actually happened with the torps I launched? It looks like the damage numbers are okay. Not insane. Mm -hmm. You got some lands on the Torpedo Bulker. I didn't see anything else. I know I launched a bunch at one of the Bulkers going for C. Oh, one of the 250s, yeah. Yeah, you do get some lands on one of those. Yeah, they were adequate, but it just... <laughs> it's bulk, bulk freighter moment, man. The bulk torpedoes freighter. just don't do that much to them. Yep. These are size 5 warheads, incidentally. Jesus. Wow. Nerf Bulkers. If you nerf Bulkers, OSP gets steamrolled. Pretty yeah, much. That's a whole <laughs> can of worms. Honestly, it did Buff not monitor. Feel 
like we were outclassed in the stand-up fight. What had us shitting our pants no. was the goddamn rocket shuttles capping literally everything and winning every duel between small yeah. ships. Yeah. Well, my my Corvette said. Um, I think we're gonna get into the like nitty gritty of that game, but I don't really think we need a lot of that here. Fifty eight armor on that battleship. Color me surprised. I. Yeah, I don't know, dog. I think that might still be a little too high. Maybe it's fine. Uh, my original number proffered was 56. Um, I think that's more reasonable. In any case... I don't think the bulkers are actually that bad. That's just what happens sometimes, especially with missiles. Or just not a lot gets through. It's its own version of tanking. Instead of having raw HP, it just zoop, vanishes things into the void. Ah, well. Torpedoes were kind of cool, though. I'd like to see more out of both teams. Anyways, that's the video. That's the game. That's the match. Goodbye. Farewell. We're on Testulus. It's, uh, what's today? August 10th. Man, we've been doing this for uh, for a while now. Man, seeing the battle space.